Tuesday. You can hear the cars going around behind me and I'm sitting out here in our prayer garden that Jack Kaiser put together for his Eagle Scout years ago. I can only wonder what they felt on that Tuesday. Little did they know what was being expected. I hope you listen again to the words that will be read. First from the book of Psalms and then from the Gospel of John. God's word to us today is from Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Rescue me and deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of evil and cruel men, for you have been my hope, O oh sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become like a potent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Do not cast me away when I get old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. For my enemies speak against me. Those who wait to kill me con and conspire against me. They say God has forsaken him. Pursue him and seize him. For no one will rescue him. Be not far from me, O God. Come quickly, O my God, to help me. May my accusers perish in shame. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. But as for me... I will always have hope. I will always praise you more and more. The word of God for us today. A reading from John. John chapter 12, verses 20 through 36. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls to, into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, The voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, we have heard the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. And now, let's pray. Holy God, as you delivered the Hebrews safely out of the long labor of slavery, so morning by morning you draw us forth into the new day. Surround us with a cloud of witnesses and sustain us by your powerful word that in the night of loneliness and fear, we being weary 
may not lose heart, but push toward the joy that is to come, laboring with Christ to give birth to your promised kingdom. Amen. God's peace.